Tonight we have the story of a man who is trying to make the best of a pretty dire situation. Jeremy Carr is just 37 years old, but his heart is no longer strong enough to keep him alive. Waiting for a heart transplant is tedious, but he aims to make it with stubborn tenacity and a focus on his lifelong hobby. It certainly sounds like the dental office, but on this cardiovascular critical care unit... The noise isn't a drill. It's actually a Dremel. That's what Jeremy Carr uses to grind, sand, and polish his model cars. Carr is a mechanic. He's been off the job for more than 130 days, and he's craving routine. I can do the same thing with a real car as I can do with those. He set up a model car shop in his second floor corner room at Methodist as he continues to wait for a heart transplant. Worst case scenario is I don't get a heart and uh, I don't make it too much longer. To cope, Carr stays busy, busy, busy. When he's working on a car, he is relaxed. The little plug wires took me like four and a half hours to do. Carr believes it's much better to talk about the attributes of his 1969 Camaro, the Green Mamba, than what he witnesses daily. I mean, there's people that pass away all the time in here. And... There's two, been two people that's passed away in the next room. That's, this stuff's hard to hear. And so that Dremel helps block that noise. And steadily, his completed models increase in number. A 1980 Trans Am, a 57 Chevy, an 84 Cutlass, and Impalas from 64, 65, 66, and 67. And though he's brought his Sharpies and scissors, Every single model you see is customized with medical supplies. You gotta be creative. I mean, you, you, you see things and you imagine it. What can I use that for on a car? So while you and I may see containers and a bedpan, his view is a little different. This, I see the bottom plates of cars, a hood, trunk. It is amazing what chest tubes look like with a little silver paint. Of course, I cut them up. It made smokestacks out of them. Yeah, see, like that. Car right now is always on the lookout for a piece of this, a part of that. If he doesn't know what to do with it now, he'll find out later. For the most part, IU staff is considering the work therapy. We worry about people that are here for months, not just hundreds of days at a time. It's a re you know, it's a real phenomenon. People become depressed. They get cabin fever. Uh, I would too. Carr says he's getting by by focusing on what he's going to build next. I know it looks like a military, but I'm going to strip all that stuff off, and it'll be the lifeline IU medical chopper. Anything that will make him happy, keep him busy. I'll be home soon. You know, I'll get through all this. I'm not a quitter. My mom didn't raise a quitter. So I'm hard-headed, very. So... Yeah, all my family. I'll be home soon. Mm. He has two teenagers, a boy and a girl, and of course uh, his longtime partner, and so that's the big driver. But, you know, I think you'll find this interesting. He wants to build a storm tracker van. Oh, and like so, a mobile storm tracker. Yeah, he had me send him a picture of it, and he's looking oh. at the disc and everything. We just now have to find a way to get some of those decals that will okay. be the size yep. to put it on the side. Excellent. He, that, that's after the Lifeline helicopter. Well, you got to so. admire his attitude, given yes, the absolutely. stress that he's under right now. That's, right. It's got to help. Yeah, he